Yes. What was the last topic we were discussing? Interest calculation, right? So what I did uh, uh, in the last uh, is the Wednesday, you know? Yeah, last Monday class, I forgot to record the session. So, but I forward the my previous batch video. Is it? Have you checked it? Please respond. I sent, nobody checked or what? Check ma'am. Right, so I sent the previous, uh, my batch video, okay? So up to where I did, I did the configuration, right? Uh, almost I did the, all the configuration and I assigned the GL accounts also, right? So I have to do testing only, right? So what I do, let me take loan, from the bank, okay? What I'm telling, I am going to take loan from the bank. F-02. I think Jay and uh, Sairaj, you missed uh, two or three classes, is it? Yes. What but I'm following up. Is it? Good. Who is this? Saira. Saira. What about Jay? Yeah, I missed, uh, yeah. I missed some uh, two, 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 three classes. <clears throat> I'm downloaded the videos. I'm following. I'm following. Right. What yeah. was the topic you have seen there? Last topic? Have you seen I the interest presentation? Yeah, I downloaded the videos. I started uh, uh, listening to it. So the last Monday class, have you seen that, Jay? Or interest calculation? No? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, not okay. completely seen that, yep. So now what I'm telling, so in the last session, I create the indicators, I define the rate of interest. Okay, so then uh, that rate of interest indicator I assigned to the GL account also. I did everything. Okay, now, I am going to do testing, okay? So April 1st, okay? April 1st, I am going to take loan. Your company code is N16, is going to take loan, right? I'm giving the 1st of April, okay? I'm taking loan on 1st of April. So when I take the loan, what is the entry? Loan is going to debit. So I'm getting cash against the loan, right? So cash is going to debit and loan account is going to credit, right? So what you posting key? What is the cash GL account? Enter. Ignore message. Okay, so okay, I am taking loan from the bank. One lakh update the profit centers and loan. Okay. Fifty. What is the GL account for uh, term loan I created? One lakh, 300, right? Enter. Here, okay, this is our term loan account. So in the first class, I, tell you, I was talking about value date, right? Value date here, what is coming here? This is coming today's date, December 1st it is coming. By default, it is coming today's date. But here, if I don't change this, what happen? you know? System will calculate the interest on always on the value date. Even though I have given the document date, posting date, April 1st, the system always consider the value date for calculation purpose, for calculation of interest. If I forget, okay, if I forget to change, system will calculate on this date, whatever the date it is there, it will calculate on the date. 
Okay, so what I'm telling, okay, by mistake, I, uh, the endorser has forgot to change this date. Okay, then I tell you the, what happened next also, okay? So text plus, okay? Amount star to copy the amount, star plus to copy the text and validate, I forgot, okay? Before save document, simulate. So what is the entry? Cash is debit, loan is going to credit, fine. Right, so in case of cash GL account, whatever the date is, it's not a big deal. Okay, so but here, term loan, be careful, but here I forgot to change. After saving the age, the end user come, no, okay, what he came to know. So he forgot to change the value date. Okay, after saving the document also, we have option to change some fields. Where we can see the document list first tell. So now where we can see the document list, decode. Srinu, where we can see the document list? Document list. FB03 or not? No one is doing practice. Srinu is doing it. Vanna is also doing. Can't even remember what is the decode for the document list? FB03. Ah, why are you taking much time? So FB03. Where I can see the document list? FB03. There you can see only document list. Suppose if I go to FB02. If I go to FB02, okay. So this is, uh, okay, go for document list. Okay, he has just give the document type SA. So I just want to see the GL related documents. If I give SA document type. Yeah, yes, this is the entry I just posted December 1st. Okay, so this is the entry in MP03 we can see, but there I can't uh, change any, but that I can't change any option. But here in MP02, I'm talking in MP, MP02 T code. Okay, just go for SBA Tumblr double click. Here you have option to change some of them. Yeah, but not all. Okay, only few fields I can able to change, validate, assignment. Okay, so these I can change. Okay, so after posting the document also, if you want to change these three fields, not all, you can't change the amount, you can't change the profit center. That option is not there. But the value date, okay, now I came to know that I have not changed the date. So now I'm giving April 1st. Now system can calculate on value date April 1st. Okay. Okay, so I posted uh, April 1st, I have taken loan some 1 lakh rupees. Okay, say for example, uh, June 1st. Okay, so what I'm telling, June 1st, I pay some uh, install, some 10,000 rupees repayment to the loan. What is the entry when I pay the loan? When loan I pay account R2 cash, cash account. Yes, right. When I take in the loan, cash is debit, loan is credit. When I pay the loan, okay. So same T code F-02. Okay, so when I am uh, I am I paying on June 1st, okay? June 1st. Okay, so this is loan is going to debit, right? How much? Say 10,000. the profit center here also for the loan GL account be careful with the value date okay so June 1st
okay 50 cash is going to credit because cash is going out okay star okay whatever the date value date it's okay but loan account should be correct okay okay saved so i taken loan from the bank on uh, april 1st say one lakh and i paid uh, what is that 10000 on june 1st okay. i think monday i did some rate of interest let me show you rate of interest maybe for it what was the rate of interest i am uh, um, maintaining when 10% loan, and 8% when loan is having credit balance how much tell me credit balance having 90000 is that Vishwanath? Tell me, Vishwanath, when when I have taken loan from the bank, how much I have to pay? We have to repay the one lakh rupees. No, no, no. Ten percent interest. Ah, rate of interest. How, how much I have given? Ten percent. No, no. When, when I have taken it? loan from the ah, sorry, ten percent. Yes. Okay, but uh, when I have deposited with the bank, bank will give how much? 8%. 8% only. And also I increase the rate of interest from June 1st. Do you remember how much rate of interest I maintain? 12%. Yes. So now let me show you that screen. Then we let me go to another screen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so here, what is the rate of interest I maintain? Uh, N1, 1, right? N1, 6, 1. So here, here this is, when I have taken loan from the bank, how much I have to pay? 10%, right? When I have deposited with the bank, okay, so how much uh, rate of percentage uh, bank will give you? 8% only. Fine. And from June onwards, the bank is going to increase the rate of interest from 10 to 12. When I take a loan from the bank, so how much is going to increase the rate of interest from June to 12? Okay, so these are our rate of interest. Let's see how system will calculate. Actually, I have taken loan from uh, 1st of April, 1 lakh rupees now. I paid a June 1st, 10,000. From June onwards, I have 90,000 rupees only, right? 90,000 rupees. 90,000 system will calculate on 8 or 12. Sorry, 10 or 12. 12%. 12. So June onwards, on 90,000 system will calculate on F.52. Okay, F.52, here, F.52, okay, the end user every month ending, okay, so we will run this interest calculation, giving the chart of accounts, GL account, so loan GL account, so first what I, do, what I want to show you, you know, I'm not going to post to GLs, I just want to show you how system will calculate for the entire 12 months. I just, I'm not going to post anything. First, I want to show you for the entire year, how system will calculate the interest because there are so many changes in between. So I just want to show you, I'll just execute it. Then once I show you for the entire 12 year, how system will come, no? then I'll come back for the first period April, I will post it, okay? This is just I'm executing for you for your purpose. Okay. April 1st, 30. Is what is this? 30. What is our, our financial year? 31st. March. March 20. Calendar year. This is, this is calendar. This is entire fiscal year. March 3rd up to 22nd. Our financial year. Okay. Here, select additional line item so that it will show the line item separately. What is that? 10%, 12%, 8%. Okay, what is the principal amount, interest amount, everything it will show you. Just I have given, okay, execute the report. Here, okay, January, oh, sorry, April, May, 61 days. 1 lakh rupees. How much? 10%. 1,600, right? Is it? April, May. How many days? 61 days, 1 lakh, 10%, 1,600. Fine. June onwards, June to next to March, how many days? Approximately 304 days. 10 months means 304 days. Why 90,000 here? 10,000 we have already paid. Yeah, so June 1st, I paid 10,000. So the remaining balance is 90,000. On 90,000, how much I increase the rate of interest 10 to 12 from June onwards? So 12% on 90,000 rupees from June. From June, right? How many days for 10 months means 304 days, 8,000 change, right? So here you can see here on 1 lakh, 10% for 2 months, 1,600, right? On 90,000, 12% for 10 months, 8,000. For the entire 12 months, how much? 10,000 change. Right, so system automatically by giving this uh, effective date,
by giving this effective date system automatically take that rates of returns. Okay. So now I just wanted to show you, but what I do know, we have to post on monthly basis, right? So let's, we are in the April month ending. What I have to, end user, what he will do? He has to post the, for the interest for the month of April month ending. For posting purpose, okay, we have to select the so many things. So calculation period, I have to give only 38th April, right? Come down. Next. Here to post to the ledger, we have to select this checkbox post interest and update our master records, create one session name, I'll create with my company code name. So posting data set session. See why this is posting date, posting date, document date, value date, why how do you know? System now will, will, will calculate the interest automatically and also update the entries automatically. Okay, so when it is going to post the uh, uh, automatically, okay, so what is the document date, the posting date, value date, we have to give you manually. So the entries also updated on this date because this is automatic posting by the system, right? So it doesn't know which date he has to give. So here we have to give, okay? So 30th of April, posting date. So once we, after posting, system will generate the entry. When I look at in the, entry in the document list you can see the these date only okay okay right. so posting segment text also we have to do whatever the text you have given here it will come in the documents okay these are the things you have to select for posting purpose before I didn't select because I just wanted to show you the calculation. So now I have to update to the ledger means I have to select all of them. But now this is for only for one month. Right? Only for one month, 30 days, April, 10%, 1 lakh, 800. So this just calculated to post this 800 rupees to the ledger system, services, batch input session. You have to, this is our session name, select your session name, execute, I mean process, here display errors. If it is there any errors, it will show you, okay? Enter. And I don't have option there to enter the profit center. So now it will ask you, okay? Because at the end of the screen, where I given the document date, posting date, there I don't have option to give the profit centers. So now I have to do that. What is this profit center? Now what is the entry? Interest is going to debit, see here. Interest is going to debit. You should update the profit center, right? Update the profit center. So the entry is going to post automatically. You can see here, right? Interest is going to debit. Enter. Next. Here you can see loan is going to credit. Right? Update the profit center. There I don't have option. So that is the reason I have to give. So interest is debit, it is goes to PNL account debit side. Your loan account get increased or not when you interest is right. So after that, when you pay, what happened? Cash. Tell me what is the entry? I'll show you. First, let me finish this. Okay. So now automatically interest is debit, loan is credit. Exit. Now let's see whether system has generated a document or not. Okay, where I can go document list? FB03. This is the latest document number it is showing. If you don't know, just go for document list. It is showing the latest one. 
interest is going to debit, loan is going to credit. Month ending. So when I pay cash, what, what is the entry? Can anybody guess? When I pay the cash interest, Loan account at auto cash. Ah, right, right. So loan is going to debit and cash is going to credit. What is the final entry? like the provision month ending we maintain the provision no if you don't pay the cash so we maintain the provision no so that it's like also provision month ending i will show you the entry so that you will understand okay so here when i calculate the interest what happens interest is going to take right this going to repeat right Loan is credit, right? When I pay the cash, when I pay the interest cash, this is like provision month ending, like provision April month ending. This is like a provision. So what you do in uh, May first, you pay the cash for this eight hundred rupees. So loan. Loan is debit, cash is credit. So what is the final entry? This loan and uh, this loan nullify. And what is the final entry? Tell me. Interest account debit and cash. Ah, right. It is not like a provision. When we discuss salary provision, it's like a provision. Month ending, it's like a provision. When I pay actual cash, so the entry will be so that then that end user has to post this entry. Understood? Any questions? This is about interest calculation. Any questions here? Okay. So next we'll start accounts payable okay so before that what are the sub models we have in fi model tell me in fi what are the sub models we have real right in accounts payable yeah. accounts receivable, accounts receivable. Yes. Accounting. Accounting. yes right so we discuss this and now i'm going to go for accounts payable okay what is accounts payable can anybody tell what is accounts payable The amount we have to repay to the credit apps. Now, what is accounts payable? Why we use accounts payable? Why use accounts payable sub model? You know, to see the only vendor transactions. Okay. Why we see the why we maintain accounts payable only for vendor transaction. Okay. So in the financial accounting, we have the four sub models. Okay, AR use only for customer transaction purpose. Asset model we use only for asset transaction. GL means just normal transactions, not relating to vendor customers, whatever. Okay, but here, whatever the transaction happens in the AP, AR, asset accounting, these three sub models transactions should update GL model. Remember. Because there I'm going to prepare financial statements. Financial statements is what? PNL account and balance sheet. So without vendors, can you prepare the balance sheet? Without customers, can you prepare? Without assets, can you prepare the financial statements? No. So whatever the transaction accounts payable vendor transactions, 
accounts receivable customer transaction asset accounting these uh, asset related transaction it should update gl okay you maybe you have question it is updating gl why we are maintaining why not we maintain all assets ap uh, vendors customer why don't you not, why don't you maintain under gl tell me why i am maintaining ap separately ar separately asset assets separately and why i am maintaining these uh, i am going integrate with the gl why don't i maintain all these together in one gl can anybody guess Vishwanath, Sai Raj, anybody? Why? Anybody want to tell? Yeah. To see to see the reports very quickly. Yes, exactly. Who is that? Vishwanath. 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 Yes, very good. So, why I am maintaining them separately? You know. For reporting purpose, okay. I am maintaining for reporting purpose. I want to see only vendor trans. If I maintain all these transaction vendor customer assets in one GL, okay. So in GL, I have to track what are the vendor transaction, what are the asset transaction. I have to track it. So, so to see the vendor transactions only. I am maintaining AP. AP I use only for vendor transaction purchases of vendor. Cash payment, uh, payment to the vendor, any advance from the uh, advance to the vendor, anything. I just maintain only vendor transactions in AP. AR also, there I maintain only AR use only for customer transaction. Asset I use only for asset. So, but whatever these transactions, whatever happen, I should update GL. Where I have to prepare the balance? Uh, what is that? Uh, finance statements in. GL, right? So without these vendors, customers, assets, can you prepare the financial statements? No. So that is the reason we have to integrate APR asset with the GL. How we integrate? Let's see later. Okay. So first, AP. Okay. So what I am telling. So if I take account payable, this accounts payable sub module, okay, we use only for vendor transactions. And here there are two scenarios. We have MM module also. MM like FI module. We have MM. We have SD module. Okay, FI means under the FI we know what are the sub models. We have GL, APR, asset accounting. MM is the another model that uh, we use only for material transactions. MM end users they use only for material transaction. SD means sales and distribution for sales activities. In our client place, okay, in our client place, N16 company code, they didn't implement the MM model. They implement only FI. They didn't implement the MM model. If they don't implement the MM model. MM means what? Purchase of material from the vendor or not? Vendor transactions only. Okay. In this case, this accounts payable sub model we use for FI transactions and also MM transactions. When MM model is not implemented in your client place, this AP accounts payable sub model used for FI purchases and also MM purchases. If in your client place MM is implemented, in this case, in MM is implemented, MM will take care of MM purchases. In this case, accounts payable will take care of FI purchases only. There are some transaction FI transactions and MM purchases. FI purchases means FI purchases means like a tax payment. Okay, tax payable, right? And suppose you have taken some services from the professionals. Okay, okay. So in this case, you have to pay uh, some uh, service charges to the professionals or not? That is also 
payable, right? Payables. So that comes under FI transactions, FI purchases. MM purchases means what? Material purchases, material you know, payment to the vendor who provide the material. That is comes under MM. So depends on your client place. Suppose MM is implemented, MM will take care of MM purchases only. I mean, MM material related purchases will be handled in the MM. In this case, AP use only for FI purchases. In your client place, MM is not implemented. Yes, this accounts payable sub model we use all MM and FI purchases. Is this clear? Any doubts here? Please respond, yeah. Uh, keep telling, can't you even unmute and can tell, yes, I will okay. understand or not. Huh? Only okay. Vishwanath and Swarna is responding. Others are just keep quiet. Then I'll do one thing. I'll just forward the videos so to just check them. Why you need to join the live class? Okay, so next. Okay, here, this is the concept. Then... Here, what happens, you know? Yeah, in the account payable, okay, I create the vendor master. Okay, actually, what is the entry, you know? In the accounts payable. So, when I purchase the raw material, raw material is going to debit. Okay, raw material is going to debit. What is the entry? Vendor is going to debit. Right? When I purchase the raw material is the current asset. Current asset is going to debit. When asset is coming in, asset is coming in debit. At the same time, liabilities, liabilities is also arising. Right? Vendor is credit. Okay. So this raw material is the part of GL account. So obviously it will update my GL model. I told you accounts payable, whatever the transaction attempts. It should update the GL. Okay, so this is the entry where I posted, you know, in the accounts payable, the decode is F-43, you'll see this later, okay. In accounts payable in F-43, I posted this entry, raw middle is going to debit, vendor is going to credit. Okay, this is the raw material, this is the GL account, obviously, it will update my GL model. Fine, that is no doubt. Then here, Vendor is, I created in the accounts payable. This is vendor master. This is vendor master. So it updates only accounts payable. Because this is a master, vendor master I created in the accounts payable. So it will update only accounts payable. But the transaction happens with the vendor. It should update my GL or not. Without vendor, can I prepare the financial statements in the GL? No. Right? So what is the solution for this, you know? Before I create the vendor master, so I have to create, vendors means liabilities or assets? Tell me first. Liabilities. Yes. Under the current liabilities. Okay, I'll take one GL account, say 1 lakh 501. Under current liabilities, I'll create 1 lakh 501 GL account for vendors or creditors. Vendors, nothing but creditors also, right? I created one GL account. So next, in the accounts payable, okay, when I'm going to create vendor master, suppose my vendor is Reliance vendor. In the accounts payable, when I'm going to create the Reliance vendor, what I do know, in that Reliance vendor master, I will assign this GL account. Okay. First, I have to create one GL. Then, I have to assign into the Reliance vendor. Fine. Then, in accounts payable submodel in F-43, whenever I purchase some material from the vendor, what is the entry? Raw material is going to debit. Right? Reliance vendor is going to credit. So, this is a raw material. Yes, this is a GL account. Yes, it will update my GL model, no doubt. Now this relent, when I give credit, it will update your GL model. Vishana? 
Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes. Right? How you does it? Uh -huh. Yeah, here the vendor transaction happened, ma'am. It's yeah. a liability arises. Yeah, how it is updated GL? Here when I give credit, Reliance Vendor. Okay. It is updating GL model, GL model? Yeah, ma'am. Actually, it, it will update accounts payable and automatically it will come under GL. Then why? Why? It, how it will update GL? What I did for that? Because we assign... Uh, uh, ah, tell me, what we assign? Accounts, <laughs> actually, accounts payable we have assigned under the GL, right? Yeah, that's what you have to tell. Yes, almost there. So this is a GL account I assigned. You tell the GL account I assigned, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, yes, since I assigned this GL account 1,501 in the Reliance vendor, automatically, when I will give debit him, credit him automatically, so our GL is going to update. So, how you are integrating AP with the GL? By assigning GL account to accounts payable. Exactly, right? <laughs> So, simple concept. So, how I am updating G? This is my GL. This is my AP. Whenever I use vendor, so when I purchase vendor is credit. When I will pay him, vendor is going to debit. How GL, AP transactions, uh, from the transaction from AP, how it is GL means? By assigning the GL account into the vendor master. This we call as a reconciliation account. Remember, this we call as a reconciliation account. Okay, because by using this one lakh five hundred and one GL account and reconcile with the GL with AP, understood? So this is the way. All the transaction from the vendor from AP, it is automatically updated GL. This is a concept. Okay. So next, please verify this video again tomorrow. Okay, today itself. Okay, now I am going to create. First, okay, you can think, did I create the GLs directly? Like one lakh, so I created some equity share capital, one lakh. Right? Did I create it directly? Or did I do anything before that? Before creation of GLs, what I did? I'll create some account groups, right? Right? I create some account groups. I maintain the number range there. From that number range, I can create the GL account. In the same way, don't think I can create Reliance Vendor directly. If you want to create an account payable, if you want to create one vendor directly, I want to create one vendor master. So before that, I have to create one account groups. Okay. Account groups means whatever the fields I want in the vendor master. Suppose I want some fees as a required or optional, whatever in the vendor master that I can control from account group. Okay, so then after that, I'll maintain some number range. Suppose number range means, say, for example, uh, 201 to 300. That number range I have to assign to this account group. So, what I'll tell you first. I create one account group. account group. Account group I created as N16. So here what I do know, whatever the fields I want required, optional, okay, suppress, whatever the fields I want required, optional, I'll maintain under this account group. So then what I do know, I'll create one number range. So 60 number range, say for example, under that I maintain the number range in well, like then third step, this 16 number range I have to assign to account group. Three steps. First, meant create one account group, say N16. There I maintain the whatever the fields required, optional suppress. Then create one number range, whatever is available in the system, I have to take it. Okay. There I maintain the number range 201 to 300. Then I have to assign this number range to account group. Okay, next, by taking that account group, I'll create a vendor master. 
this is my account group n16 by taking that account group i'll when i create a vendor master whatever the fields i maintained in the group it will come as it is and also when i create the vendor master say reliance now system will give the some number no system has to give one number for the reliance vendor or not now it's giving him 201 when i create some samsung vendor next time it will give 200 so do you think without the number range can you create the vendor master directly before that i have to create the number range sorry account group there i can maintain the fields whatever i want in the vendor master so some fields whatever i want in required optional that here itself i have to maintain here so after that create number range that number range you have to assign to the account group finally by taking that account group we have to create the number vendor master understood this we'll see tomorrow again i will ask you tomorrow this one okay please prepare for this okay so directly account create the vendor master so before that i have to do framework like this then only system will give assign the number for the vendor okay any questions yeah ma'am uh, i have one doubt yeah vishana yeah as you said uh, i mean uh, in mm module they will update the purchase transactions hmm. when is it is implemented yeah uh, i mean they will not replicate in the fm module ah even mm suppose i tell you one thing suppose yeah. mm mm is implemented in our client face okay 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 transactions of mm like purchase of material will be handled in the mm okay okay mm is implemented purchases transactions but whatever their entries will be updated in the gl remember yeah okay because mm should be integrated with the gl also okay okay and you are doing uh, payment again it will come through ap only okay okay payment should be done through ap again from ap to gl gl yeah okay so mm sd also should integrate with the gl remember okay okay because we can discuss that not now mm sd when we do that we have to assign the gls yeah automatically mm transaction because when i purchase a raw material it is an accounting effect yeah so, okay so automatically gl also updated automatic post so that is called integration of fi with mm and sd that we can discuss later okay not now after completion of co okay okay ma'am okay okay sure thank you